Hello everyone, my name is Kaijiro. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a 90s vintage effect for your AVs. So I have my footage here. And first I'm gonna drag in an adjustment clip. I put it over footage. And right click open fusion. And in fusion, first you're gonna duplicate your media in. Just copy paste it. And add a merge node and plug the media in the green input of the merge. In between there, you're gonna add a directional blur. And uh, in the length of the directional blur, do something like this, but like not too much. And in the merge apply mode, set it to saturation. And to fix this, I'm gonna duplicate the median with the directional blur and merge it again. I'm gonna input and in the apply mode, set it to view. And what this does, it adds like a little bleeding effect to the colors. It's something you see here, you can see it very well. It's uh, something you see in the 90s uh, anime. And then duplicate the directional blur of the media again. Plug it in. And in the merge, this time we're gonna set it to exclusion. And set the blend to like 0.2. And this time uh, duplicate your media and add a Gaussian blur. So connect that. Merge it again. The, the default settings is fine for the blur, by the way. And the apply mode of the merge, set it to lighten. It gives it like this creamy, hazy effect. And set the blend to like 0.4. And that's it for the first uh, adjustment clip. So now I'm gonna add another one on top and make it the same length. Uh, open infusion again. And now uh, add a gradient map. If you don't know what a gradient map is or if you don't have it, it's in the reactor. There's a link to a, to a tutorial on how to get a reactor and a gradient map in the description. So uh, yeah, with the gradient map, duplicate your media in. Plug it in and merge it over. And in the gradient map, make a heat map type of thing. So first, uh, like maybe blue-ish. And then let's say orange. And one more, let's do... Uh, yeah, pink. And in the merge, in the apply mode, set it to exclusion. And the, set the blend to a very low, like 0 0.08, something like that. And then you're gonna add a brightness and contrast node. And up the contrast a bit, like I like to do it like 0.1, I think that's fine. And then add a color character node and shift the hue a bit just a little bit let's yeah, do this and also like to add a bit of saturation and then add another color character and in the top here set it to levels and uh, drag this white slider a bit to the left and the black one a bit to the right and the middle one a bit to the left like 1.1 1 .1. and then add in a, another gradient map with the same footage duplicated it in, merge it, 
and in the gradient map sets a color to like a green bluish drag it in a bit and then the merge so the apply mode to saturation set the blend to like point one and a half yeah that's fine and now add a color corrector node lower the saturation a bit and maybe another color corrector node and set it to levels and drag the dark a bit in and that's it basically if we go back to the edit page it's going to be a bit laggy on the playback so select your top adjustment clip is that a, a render cage color output now it's gonna pre-render your footage so it gets smooth playback so let's wait for that okay so it's cached now i can play back uh, the footage and smoothly yes <laughs> and that's it just keep in mind that this is very scene specific so make sure to experiment and try stuff out if this helps you uh, make sure to like and subscribe this uh, tutorial is kind of based on another tutorial by Tonored. I have a link to that in the description. So yeah, see ya.